Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Tonight we are going to take, well for those of you that have watched on YouTube, you've already seen the full look here, but we're going to run some of this equipment tonight, have fun. I'm going to answer any questions that will come in. And uh, before we start, I just got to say I, I love and I'm very thankful for my wife. She's shaking. <laughs> She's giving me googly eyes like, stop it. She's a good wife, and I love her. Anyway, uh, so we're looking at the class pack tonight, uh, and um, a couple things I missed in my little uh, first look. I did not know that this tractor uh, flips around, so if we do this, it actually flips the whole cabin around for a very weird-looking uh, unit. I don't know why you'd want to do this, so I looked it up online, and I found out that uh, the reason why you would do this is because... Um, you could, they put shovels on the front of these, and then they use them to push around, like, silage and stuff like that. And then the other thing that they do is that they, they make units that go on the back of this, um, that, like, a slurry spreader. Um, I hope that Giants takes advantage of that and puts, you know, uh, or makes those kind of equipment add-ons available for this tractor, but I doubt that they will because, like, with JCB... JCB has that uh, fast track that we've had for years, and it has the little uh, tray on the back, and that can hold a sprayer, it can hold mowers, it can hold all kinds of different stuff, and they never took advantage of that. So I don't think that that will happen for this, but we can hope. Because like I said, it's pretty cool the Z-Ron can actually be used as like a, a piggyback tractor. It can even carry like a grain cart. Uh, but that's the reason why it has the, the front and the rear steering options. So we'll drive that around a little bit and let you guys see that. Um, and uh, once again, I'll probably run into that again towards the end of the video because we don't really have a whole lot of people watching yet. But um, I'm going to flip this around. So once again, we can reverse it. And it does the, uh, the reversal thing. There we go. So that's pretty cool. So once again, I'm sorry I missed that. I didn't know the tractor did that. And I kind of did know it, actually, because I've seen them like that before. But it never... I never quite put two and two together, so now I understand exactly how that works, and it's pretty cool stuff. Um, other things that I hinted at during the review but I wasn't sure of, because I didn't want to speak out of turn, we have uh, here the, the um, telehandlers, and uh, I was surprised to see that the um, when I unfolded the class, it looked like it was extra long, and I'm like, well, maybe it's not really, maybe I'm just imagining things, but it actually really is extra long so we have this um boom that's twice as long as any other of the telehandlers and the unit itself is a little bit uh yeah it's not really larger than the it's actually about the same size it looks like it's manufactured <laughs> it looks the same as the massey nah, it's a little different hey i am here jc sorry we're gonna do multiplayer on sunday i apologize for starting so late uh, and we're going to do it earlier Sunday afternoon if you guys can do it. Um, what's up, Waters? Simone has fallen asleep in her chair. She was getting ready for bed, and then she passed out on her chair. <laughs> Hopefully she'll wake up soon and head to bed where she's supposed to go. What's up, Grab What's up, Grab Life? Uh, so anyway, we're taking a look at the class pack tonight. So once again, I'm going to show these two things because people are coming in now. I missed this. JC, thank you for the sub, by the way. Now the Z-Run does have a, a changing cockpit, so you can drive it forward or backwards. And then you set the wheels to backward steering, and you steer normally. So I also, you can leave it on all-wheel steering. So, yep, it's coming next week. And it's a good pack so far. There's just a lot of really cool stuff. So the second thing I was showing, once again, that I kind of missed on the review, though I showed it. Purdue, thank you for the sub, by the way. Um... The boom is really long on the class uh, telehandler. So, yeah, 15 months, that's the way to go. Staying on top of it, actually. Um, so we have our boom right there, and that's pretty sweet. And it's a class boom. And uh, so anyway, uh, then we have our line of tractors. Does anyone have any questions, by the way? Hey, what's up, Packy? Anyone got any questions about it? Uh, anything you guys want to see? Uh, these tractors ha do, and I'll, I'm going to put them some of these things to action so we can kind of see them working because we didn't do that in the, the review video or the first look video. But uh, we can kind of take a look at some of this stuff out in the field doing its thing. Um, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hi, Viking. Hey, this American. How you doing? What's up, Evelyn? Oh, 
I wonder what he ate. He's been having diarrhea all day. What? That's not good. Harvesters in action. You got it. Let's go do it. What's up, Pyro Knuckle? Huh? You're going to have to use a lot of paper towels. That's how it goes. No, just let him run around. I mean, he, he can't help it. Oh, one thing that I noticed that I, you know, I cut these uh, poplars down, and look, they're regrowing. I didn't know the poplars regrew. You don't. Have to, you only have to plant them once. That's fine. Just let them run around. It's I know. All right, so let's go ahead and get the Tucano started, and we'll also do some corn with it um, in a bit. Uh, like the valves. Do any of the tractors have the reverse steer like the valves? Yes. The uh, that uh, if you guys missed it, I'll show it again in a little bit. I I just showed it the Z the Zeron or Zerion or whatever it's called. Um, does it actually reverses completely? The whole cabin moves around, and we'll I'll show you that. So. <laughs> let's see the track. Let's see the trackers with the bucket attachments are. Um, I think 125 up to 200, and then 250 is the top on the other one. So the pack goes live on Tuesday, I believe, the 22nd. Yep, this is not, there is no Platinum DLC map. Uh, that's one thing that a lot of people have been complaining about. Uh, they did not do a map. They just did uh, the equipment. This is North Marsh, uh, or North Frisian Marsh. Uh, it is a map that is based on Westbridge Hills. Yep, that's okay. No problem, Touring Golem. So we're going to go ahead and put these, we're going to put the harvesters to work and see what they look like as they're working. Um, I believe I have the straw swath on on this one. There we go. Yeah, right, exactly. Nope, there. This is, uh, once again, the North Frisian Marsh. So. So the Tucano's going there. We'll we'll uh, let him go for a little further, and I'm going to grab one of these tractors. We'll go to the Z around here because people are asking to see it flip again. So I will uh, start it up and flip it, <laughs> and then we'll grab a uh, tipper and go out there and start unloading it. Um, so what you can do is you flip it, and then you can do uh, I think it's these. No, well you can. It's I've already got it on. Um, I know exactly. Thanks, Gaudi. I like having you here, man. Oh, yeah, the class. I'm sure people are going to mod that in, Waters. I don't think it'll be long before you start seeing those kind of mods. Um, let's see. We got that. It's uh, 400 horsepower. We'll pull that. And that we got the, of course, the class colors come with the latest patch. So there we go. <laughs> 1,300, 2,000. There we go. All right. We'll pick that up and take it out onto the field and... The Lexus America. So that is what this thing looks like driving backwards. It's a little weird, but <laughs> uh, once again, in real life, these tractors hold uh, like a tipper, or sometimes it holds a. Uh, um, whoops! Come on, latch onto that. Maybe it can't. Maybe it's only. Maybe that only hooks onto the back. Huh? Weird. No, I don't. I have no idea on that one, Waters. That is a Xbox question, and those I don't. I don't know the figures on that. Uh, there are no slots on the PC, so I'm not aware of what they are. Um, I'm sorry. So there you go. We got to see that, um, and we'll take a look, Timmy. We will take a look at the horsepower once I do the the um, harvesters. We'll look at that next. But I believe that small tractor runs 90 up to maybe 200. And the second one runs like 150 up to like 250, I think, is how it works. Yeah, I think that I think you're right. It's got that PTO hook, right? And so it's not going to hook up. I've done some uh, plowing with this, but where's that Tucano? Is he coming back up? He's probably full by now. We got these other harvesters parked in the way. Oh no, he's still going. All right. So 
we can see how we're going to let that thing fill up and uh, we'll we'll empty it out. I'm also going to put the um, lexicon to work on this field at the other end and then we'll get this little guy going too. Yep, that is a uh, that's called what's called an auger wagon, and uh, we use those in America. That uh, they are right in the middle, Timmy. They don't. They're not. Hey, what's up, fake news? Thanks for the sub. They're more um, expensive than um, you know some of the really cheap tractors, but they're also um, you know reasonably priced in their price range. So they're kind of like right down the middle um, of the pricing. Less expensive than like Massey Ferguson and Fent. More expensive than, let's say, uh, um, like uh, Star, uh, um, like that kind of stuff. So you would have rather had an, an implement pack than a class pack. I know that's a lot of people. Hey, Mister Still, your how's it going? Yeah, I bet Gator. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna. Why, don't put him in the cage. Let him out of my room, please. It doesn't matter. Let him out. But he cries in the cage, too, honey. Just let him out. Yes, they do have a mining map. That's so funny. If <laughs> you found it. Looks like the Tucano's not going to fill up yet, so we'll, we'll uh, let that run a little longer. But, yeah, you can see this tractor has plenty of horsepower. Yeah, well, it's not good that he's got diarrhea, though. I'm trying to figure out what why he's doing that. Um, gee, I don't remember dumping that corn header unceremoniously on the field, but, oh, you know, it, yeah, I did. I did. Uh, meanwhile, we're waiting for that guy to turn around. Um, he, he's probably not full yet, so uh, we're going to take this baler. We'll put this out to work and see what this does. So we're going to unfold this. There we go. Take capacity on the harvesters. We can look at that right now. Uh, I believe they're like 11,000, and I don't remember what the larger one is, so let's oops, wrong one. Let's do harvesters. The, uh, the Dominator is 7,800, which is actually pretty large for its small size. Um, the Tucano is 11,000, and the Lexicon is 18,000. Compare that with the Ideal at 1710. Of course, the lexicon is more expensive too. Um, Tucano is eleven. Let's see, eleven uh, thousand. Who else is at the eleven thousand range? RSM maybe ten fifty for the RSM. Uh, a thousand ten uh, ten thousand for the John Deere. These are priced at two ninety nine two eighty five. That is at three eighty four. So it's actually more expensive. Uh, has more horsepower though, but it hold and it holds more, but it's still more expensive. So some of the things are good deals, some of them aren't. Really, see a lot of class out there, huh? That's cool. We have them in Ohio too. There's a there's a couple dealerships. Mostly they're considered Caterpillar, like the Caterpillar uh, uh, Lexicon stuff, but it's uh, which I don't even know if they do anymore, but. <laughs> yeah, I know it does. <laughs> It's big, very big. Hope I had the straw swap off on that other one. So, hey, what's up, Doctor Insane Gaming? Yes, I do, especially if it's you. <laughs> it's assuming you're tomato, a tomato kind. So there we go. That's what the baler looks like, just like any other square baler. This is, uh, by the way, the only uh, baler that um, that they make right now. The only square baler that they make. So. So there you go. That's so that's a look at that. Um, this guy can move around, and we'll empty him out. Grab some of this stuff too. I need to stop that Tucano and empty him out. He said, "Yes, I am a tomato." He'll pr I'm imagining he's gonna fill up pretty soon before he, he uh, gets to the end. This is only 13% full, but you won't really see it. But the Dominator at 7,800, that's not bad, especially at the price that it comes in at. This is a good small uh, small farm harvester. Um, so 
Using the 108, yeah. <laughs> How about the forage harvesters? Yes, we will definitely put that into action waters here in just a minute. Uh, I'm going to empty out that. We'll throw the, we're going to throw the uh, lexicon into action, too. So there's the Dominator. The Dominator, you know, I mean, we've seen it. That's a pretty popular mod. I need to find. The problem is I can't get to the. There we go. We need to go down and catch that harvester. Uses a lot of class from Ohio. Yep. Yeah, it looks like there's two or three dealerships in Ohio. So I've seen a couple farmers that use them. They have a mixture. It's like John Deere and Kloss. Um, never seen any Krona stuff. I've seen Fent. There's a farmer in our area that has a huge Fent 900 series tractor. Uh, it's a monster. It's They're so huge. So let's empty the two kind of out. Look, it's getting full there. You can see up at the top. Uh, it's pretty full. Unloading there into our hall master. Chillicothe. Yep, that's. I think that's spelled right. That looks right. Yep, I'm already working on a class farm. I'm going to be doing episodes of it on YouTube. The first episode should come out in the next day or two before the, the game is, or before the DLC is released. Back up here. Yeah, the fence are huge. They are giant tractors. I mean, all tractors are big, but... So that's the Tucano. Uh, a pretty cool little harvester. Well, medium-sized harvester, but kind of pricey, honestly, for what it is. There we go. I've got my lexicon parked in the... Uh, or my Zerion, Zerion, however you pronounce it, parked in the woods. So let's put the uh, lexicon into action. Got to find it here. Where is it? <laughs> I'll get to it eventually. There it is. You can see once again just how overwhelmingly huge this package is. It's just, it's, <laughs> it sounded wrong. Uh, it's just enormous. How many, how many pieces of equipment come with this? Like I said, there's a lot of repeats, but... Yeah, but the mods are... I've used some of the mods. They're not... At, you know how picky I am. But yes, they do have mods of some of the stuff out there. And none of it's at the resolution that this stuff's at, but... Uh, good luck finding ones that are, you know, in a group that are nice. I just... it's. But you can. There are some nice lexicon mods out there, and some of the front loaders are already out there. Like, they had a front loader that was pretty nice. Um... Yeah, that is true. I sound like I'm getting paid. No, I wish I was. <laughs> but seriously, you know how I am with the mods. I'm I'm pretty picky. And uh, thanks, Jay Wah. Um, and so you know, I I uh, oh, see now. Look, that's cool. Look at that straw. How the straw swath works on this one. That's pretty neat. I didn't know that that was going to happen. I wonder if it does that. We'll have to check the Tucano and see if it does that too. That's pretty sweet. Uh, let's we gonna turn that. Is it this one? Well, uh, how do I disable the straw swath? Enable. There we go. Yes, I bet you. Hey, what's up, uh, Zalaman? How you doing? You got you finally got two forty two working. No, nope, it didn't work. Dang it. There we go. Uh, I have a feeling, Taylor, that really quickly now that these are released, we're going to see a lot of mods with with that with that coloring. I bet you we see that quite a bit. I know this drives some people crazy, but I back the harvesters up, so I'm not running stuff over. Oh, good night. I love you. Did they this year? Okay, that's what I've seen. The, the, the balers and stuff that I've seen, that's what I've been seeing is the um, the red and green uh, 
colors. I don't know that they had lexicon yellow. Just the lex, just the the lexicon itself had these this coloring. I don't think the tractors or any of the other equipment had that coloring, but but that yellow lexicon harvester was. Um, I've seen a couple of those actually with the caterpillar brand. Yeah, those are really cool. Okay, I gotta find the. Uh, there it is. So we're gonna run alongside this. Red, white, and green, that's right. They look just like the Playmobil toys, which probably the Playmobil toys look like these. Kloss, I've been reading, the, I read up a little bit on the history. They've actually been around since the 1910s, I think, or even earlier. Maybe it started in 1906. Uh, they were the first company to have a European-built harvester or combine. So while all the rest of them were importing them, they were the first one to actually build one in Europe. So, yeah, I mean, probably, Taylor, a little bit, but I don't know. There's a lot of stuff in the pack. I don't, it's, it's not really, it's, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of stuff. It, it came with a lot of stuff, and I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you. I know it's the same things that are already in the game. It doesn't really... Like, I think they would have been better off if they would have released this as a massive, like, mega pack, class mega pack or something like that instead of an expansion. Because it's not, it, like Taylor said, it's not really an expansion of the game. It's the same equipment that we already have, just a different brand. Um, so I, I agree with Taylor on that. I, I do feel like, though, that I don't know if the asking price, I mean, once again, if you don't mind spending money for the DLC quality stuff, um, it's, you know, oops, I must have pulled out of range. It's, you're looking at about 50 cents a piece of equipment. So I don't think that's unreasonable what they're asking. You're, you're getting almost 40 pieces of equipment for 20 bucks. Uh, I don't see any other games that offer those kind of deals. <laughs> if you look at any of the other games out there that have mods that are like simulators like this, it's usually like 20 bucks for one or two pieces of equipment. So while I agree with you that it's not an expansion, and that's totally, you know, it's not. <laughs> there's nothing new in this pack, except for maybe some different sized stuff, but there's nothing new. Um, but it is it is a uh, um, it is a very highly detailed and uh, a lot of equipment for the price. So, well, $20 something you never use, right? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it is. It is the same stuff, right? <laughs> right, and people that, yeah, and people that could care less about class. Yeah, you're right, Taylor, and that's another thing, too. If you don't like class, it's like, okay, well, you know, I do like class. I like having the whole idea of, of a, a whole set of, of equipment. Um, but we already have, like, five or six sets. We've got Fent. We've got Case. We've got New Holland. We've got John Deere now with exactly the same type of equipment, except for this has more stuff because it's got, oops, it's also got, like, you know, um, the front loaders and stuff like that. But still, like, Taylor's got a good point. I mean, that's, you know. If you're something that you'd never use or you don't care about the class equipment, then you're right. This is, like, totally not anything for anybody. Like, it's kind of like, eh, wah, wah, wah. So, I do agree with that. Let's see the bale wrapper in action. We haven't done that yet. And we're also going to... I want to test mowing with this and see how it does. Um, where are we with uh, the wrapper? I thought we had the bale wrapper out here. There it is. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I... I mean, I agree. I do sort of agree. I wish we could have had a John Deere implement pack, but it seems like they're not the easiest to work with, so. I think this is a move that Europeans are going to like, though. A lot of Euro people, people, a lot of Europeans love Kloss. So, I mean, I don't know if they gave up. They're still doing updates. They were, the last update I saw was in September, so they're still updating the game. I don't know exactly how often they're doing it, but... Well, there you go. Taylor said even with $20 for John Deere stuff, he wouldn't spend it. <laughs> we do have limited budgets, don't we? Um, and I get that part, too. I think, you know... Wait, does this preload or do we... No, it doesn't preload. I was hoping maybe it would preload, but it stops collecting once the bale's coming out. 
So usually they give those things away for free, the antique tractor packs. So this works just like the uh, Coon DLC um, baler. It's not that doesn't. It's not doing anything new. Once the bale's done, you can do, you can drop it off, and it makes a silage bale. So we've seen that. I just want to kind of put all this stuff into action. Yeah, let's see. So, so once again, you have to stop right about here. And yeah, this tractor is ridiculous. I know with the wheels, it's not. There we go. If you run at the right speed, sometimes you can kind of, but you still have to stop. That's the big thing. So, so we know that Taylor clearly doesn't like this pack. I think Osa probably does because he's from Europe, and I know he always he's always using class equipment, always using class mods. So I would imagine he probably likes this pack, but we'll see. Yep, we're gonna. I'm gonna be playing it out on my channel, so. Uh, it's definitely coming to my channel, and we'll be doing it. I think maybe we'll stream it, but it's definitely going to be on YouTube. Oh, so the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to grab the other Tucano and see if, uh, or the Tucano, and see what the straw swath looked like when you turn the straw swath off and you just uh, spray. So um, let's see, it's going to be the comma key. This one looks like it's just a standard one. Did you see that? It's not anything exciting. Yeah, see, Taylor? I know. <laughs> it does look like... Uh, it works a little differently, but yeah, it does kind of look like the Coon Baylor. We can actually put them side by side if you want. Nope, so this one's just a normal spray-out type thing. It's not anything exciting like the, the Lexicon where it really throws it back and forth, so... Yeah, there we go. Yep. So that's that. Um, what else did I want to look at? Well, somebody mentioned the baler. So, oh, horsepower. I forgot, before we get too far in, somebody asked about the horsepower ratings on the tractors. Uh, small tractors. We have this. Uh, and by the way, class does list their, or class does list their tractors uh, backwards. They say 460 to 410. They don't say 410 to 460. It's weird. Um, so we right, this one ranges from 90 to 140. Um, the... Uh, that's the 400 series. Um, our 600 series ranges from 145 to 205. The 800 ranges from uh, 205 to 295. And then we have uh, our two larger tractors. Those range from um, 325 to uh, 445. And then... 435 to uh, 530, and you'll notice that the bonnet gets bigger for the largest, the larger two motors. So it's probably using the same engine. Pretty cool. So those are the different horsepower ratings. Um, let's go grab, let's see, uh, somebody asked about the baler, so let's take a look at the bailing. And we're going to grab this guy. I I think they're not the same at all, actually. The Kuhn has two wheels. The Class has one wheel. And uh, let's see here. <laughs> I bet you it's colder in Ohio than it is in Florida. <laughs> the more Taylor sees, the less he likes. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does change the screen, so. Uh, I will go and we'll show you the tire options on the z -Ron. Let's put these next to each other here, and we're going to also do some mowing with the other baler. Um, or the other, with the Ford Harvester. Sure, Timmy, there you go. Sweet cab. So, yeah, these are nothing alike. <laughs> They're totally different, actually. They're not anywhere similar. Bars are different. Backs are different. Design is different. Money is tight. Well, someday. It'll go on sale, too. I mean, 
Yes, it puts it puts a class on the 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 screen. It does. Yeah, people aren't gonna like that. You're right. So units actually a little bit looks like a little bit smaller. Yes, we did switch the cab on the Z round. We could do it again though, uh, just for poops and giggles. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. But this can't pick up the the uh, that rear, so this has no. I think there's no hook on the back. It can do some stuff, but like I was plowing with this, but it won't do uh, PTO stuff. So if there's a PTO, it won't pick it up. So see that. So that doesn't pick it up from there. But you can pick up other implements, any kind of non-powered implements it can pick up. So, but that's the big the big change. <laughs> I be I think I'd get sick in there if that happened. Okay, so the balers, let's go ahead and take a look at the mowing with the forge harvester. Yeah, it's got to be a weird sensation, I know. And then uh let's well, let's see. Shoot, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. I'm going to grab this mower and I'm going to set him to work on the other side so we can try to pick the pick up the four up or whatever. Um yeah, it's got to be a weird sensation, I know. <laughs> it's which is faster, you know? <laughs> it's, it's faster to just walk to it or try to get through it like clicking, I don't know. All right, so we're going to put this guy to work. Going to hire a worker cuz I think this is a regular field if I'm not mistaken, so we should be able to hire a worker and get him mowing. <laughs> You'd freak everybody out, that's for sure. Yeah, there he goes. He's working. All right, so uh, that does that, and then we'll let that run for a little while, and we'll rin row it and then four-up it. I don't think they call this the four-up on this one. They actually call it the uh, – it's got a name, but I don't remember what it is. They call it the pickup. <laughs> the Russians call it the four-up. The Germans call it the pickup. I don't know. We should theoretically be able to grab one of those forage wagons and pull it with this. So <laughs> it should. Taylor, it should, because they are, I mean, classes in America, but I know what you're saying. Oops. Oh, I remember that. Vermeer also makes that uh, self propelled uh, baler. Oh, yeah. Pedro. Nope. Nope, you can't do it. Dang it. <laughs> so if you want to mow with this, you're going to have to use a regular tipper. So we're going to have to grab a, a regular tipper, and you're going to have to use one of these, uh, which doesn't make sense because in real life you'd need to have that. But you're going to use a regular tipper with a uh, dolly is going to be what it is. I don't think this can take uh, as long as maybe it's got the small hitch with no hitch. Let's see here. Uh, nope, that won't work. Yeah, see, these don't even have, they don't have the the uh, PTOs on them. There's no PTOs, so if I do this. Wait, did I grab the wrong trailer? No, oh, this one should work, theoretically. Nope, it doesn't. Wow, okay. Frustrating. The sugar cane. Uh, let's see here. Um, what do you mean the sugar cane? There is no sugar cane. <laughs> um, the tire options on the Xeron. And then we'll get out of here and take a look at the... Uh, so here's the Xeron in the shop. We have uh, Trellborg, Michelin, and Mitas. And we have wide, super wide, doubles, narrow doubles. Uh, M M Midas doesn't have it, but here we have Trellborg. You'll see there's some narrow doubles, which is kind of cool. Narrow and narrow doubles. Or giant doubles. All kinds of... And then we have the... Uh, we have Michelin and the soft tires. And they have some... They have some. Oops. Oh, I was changing the wrong one. Sorry. There we go. Big doubles. Narrow doubles for Michelin. 
So Michelin has those. So there you go. There's a whole bunch of different ones. Oh, the sugarcane trailer. Will that work? I guess it would, wouldn't it? Um, uh, sugarcane technology. Um, where is it? There we go. And we'll see. Does it take chaff? Yeah, it does. Uh, it says should. Main color class green. We'll make it match. And the rim color is going to be class red. All right, there we go. <laughs> wow. Cause look, it didn't let go. Let go. All right, there we go. Wah 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 wah. I'm coming home. Didn't I buy it? Where did it go? I thought I purchased it. I guess I didn't mess up number one of many, I'm sure. Class and class and bye. There we go. What's up, 80CJ5? There we go. So it matches. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Miwa. Me and shop. All right, so let's see if this can pick it up. Yep, it can. Cool. Thank you for the tip. That's great, actually. And these are the, I've seen them pulling these kind of trailers before, though those wheels look a little bit uh, heavy for the field. But What would be the two different crops, Taylor? All right, so we're going to put the mower to work. Here we go. And this just mows grass straight up. Oh, it was Chuck. Why did you change it? Chaco Norris was so great. You shouldn't change your name. Now I'm sad. ADCJ, Chaco. <laughs> changed it up a little bit to, uh, what is the significance of ADCJ CJ5 if you can share it? Oh, Jeremy, that's your name, beautiful. In the shop, Miwa. Oh, baby crying. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, so we're going to put grass in there. And uh, I'm just going to dump it out unceremoniously in a big pile. But anyway, so you can do this. You said I'm still me. Yeah. Yeah, Shaku. So that's pretty cool. Once again, I'm not sure why you would do it like this. Because you can't bail it then. Uh, unless... You know, with some of these mods out there from the global company, I could see that this being useful because you could take this this grass and put it into a uh, fermenting uh, silo and get silage out of that. Or silage and halage. So it's halage, technically. I see what you're saying. So we're going to make halage by putting it into a fermenting silo. Though the game still counts it as silage, but yeah, you're right. It is halage. So there we go. That is this header. And in general, you would what I'm about to do is not kosher, but we're going to turn this off. And I'm going to unceremoniously dump the trailer out. Uh, i got to find the buttons to move it. Really? What? Come on. F1. Pipe in control. It's not letting me select options for the trailer. Oh, a 1980 CJ5. Okay, all right, that makes sense. Yep. Mouse? Eh. Weird, so you can't do it with the joystick, huh? That's bizarre. Yeah, but it's not letting me get those controls without the mouse, so. 
There we go. It's empty. Oh, it's not empty. I can't dump anymore. Got to pull forward. All right, so put it back. That's really cool, though. That's cool that you can do that. I wish it was a little faster, but... I wonder why it doesn't work for the controller. It must just be something that's not set, so... Okay, well, anyway. Uh, once again, we have the short pipe on this guy. We're going to go grab the four up, and I'm going to start picking up grass that way, too, so we can see it happen. Now, that will turn it into sha shaft. Chaff. Chaff. <laughs> That'll turn it into Shaft. He was a famous detective from the 70s. Mean bugger. Drop that off. So we can see the two headers here, and then we'll go do the corn header. Uh, eh. Yeah, that's weird that it doesn't automatically do it, but, yep. Looks like I have to do it. By hand. Oh, I'm running over my header thing. Okay, pick it up. Come on. Weird. Why can't I pick this up? Oh. <laughs> no, I just got started too late. We're going to do multiplayer on Sunday, Taylor. Um,. I'll let you guys kind of decide what time. If you guys can put up on Facebook what time works best for you, and we'll kind of go in the middle. Um, I I have a lot of work to do Sunday, so I'm going to boycott church for a week. Uh, and then I will, um, uh, let's see here. Yep. No, it's the right machine, Jer. I just, I have a, I left the adapter on there to move it. I used the front loader to put it out there, so I need the front loader to get it back. I don't really need this huge one, but. That smaller one would do. So there doesn't seem to be a lot of interest in the front loaders. Actually, in the series that I'm making for Kloss, you're going to see quite a lot of front loader and uh, and and uh, wheel loader action. So uh, because we're doing a, uh, you'll see. I'm not going to give any secrets away till I release it, but uh, you guys will see. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do it on Sunday, Taylor. Hoping to do it like kind of early evening Sunday before my kids' bedtime. What happened tonight just turned into a big mess. The kids giving me a hard time about going to bed. The dog crapping everywhere because he's got diarrhea for some reason and it just it's been a rough day a rough evening so by the time i got everything settled and everybody settled down it was like too late to bother so um, i i do need to go to bed kind of early tonight because i have a wedding tomorrow so uh what's up vh I'm run everybody over here i'm not playing very realistically don't worry i will for the series i'm just kind of plowing over everything right now so And that worker's going to sit there. But, uh, yeah, we'll get there. Uh, it just was a bad night. And they happen occasionally. You know, it's like I'm trying to get my kid. Last week when I did the stream, my kids were out of control. Uh, oh, I need to unfold the tool. So, And uh, I finally I had, I had it out with them when they got home, and there was a lot of crying and a lot of, you know, I'm like, I'm not doing it this week. You guys are going to bed. And once you're in bed, I'm going to stream, but I'm you're going to bed. Like, I'm, if you guys get out. It's more fun when I play like this. I'm like, if you guys, you know, you know, if you guys, you know, come out of the room, aside from going to the bathroom, and I told them they're actually going to use the bathroom in here. Because I'm like, I don't want you going from room to room. You're going to come in here and use the bathroom. So, anyway. So here's the pickup. And we've already collected 5,000 liters of grass. Ah, it's not chaffing it. I thought it was supposed to chat. I guess I was totally wrong once again. Well, I'm glad I'm finding this out. So, Panda Man, how's it going? So, the four up. I don't know why you wouldn't just mow. Why you would why you would go through the hassle of mowing, windrowing, and then catching it this way. Why wouldn't you just mow it? But this is how it is. So, Oh, that's so cute, Waters. <laughs> that's so funny. That's what Violet started at first, too. She was like a little babbler. She was like, <laughs> Glad to hear you're doing well, VH. Uh, so, yeah. So we're collecting grass very quickly. Um, but anyway, that's kind of a... I'm surprised that it actually doesn't turn to chaff. It used to chaff it, but now it just grabs it. So that's okay. You're going to turn it into chaff by putting it into a silage bunker or fermenting silo, which at that point you wouldn't want to use this trailer because you're going to have to you, like use a, a, a loader to dump it into the thing because it's going to dump it all along there. Anyway. 
uh, you wouldn't be able to load the grass directly into a, a loading silo. So, thank you for the follow, by the way. Uh, is everybody enjoying this so far? Oh, good. I'm glad to Panda Man. We're also going to do some 17, too. I'm going to do a throwback series on there. It looks like poop coming out of there. <laughs> so I don't know why. <laughs> You spelled the word wrong. That's why I blocked you. I, I'm not going to tell you which word you spelled wrong, but um, it's the one that starts with C. <laughs> you had a long week, VH? Yeah, me too. It's been a rough week, uh, but it's almost over, and I've got two more rough weeks ahead. I've got a double header wedding next weekend, which I try never to do, but my friend Jared was desperate, and I'm like, all right, fine. Uh, those are nightmares. And then I've got uh, a wedding tomorrow. And I have all this editing that I have to get done before I leave, and it's just I, I am edged to the edge of my seat. I am pretty much stressed out at this point. So, Bams is squarely asleep on her chair. My battery's going to die. <laughs> so there we go. That's I think that's a good demonstration of that. We've seen enough. Uh, so let's go ahead over to the other Forge Harvester and put that guy into use. Uh, that's not it. That's not it. See you later, Waters. Have a good night. Um, we haven't had any, any... Let's see. Oh, this is ready to chaff, so that's good. We'll go ahead and put that out. Thank you, Panda Man. It's mostly, and you know, I'll get over it, but it's mostly about the work stuff. That's what I'm stressed out about. So, Now, what's weird is this thing doesn't seem to be attracted to... Oh, there it is. Okay, now it's gone. Good. Uh, it's not just the photos, Jer. I also have to edit um, a lot of uh, um, video stuff, too. Uh, the the uh, It takes a long time to do it, though. The, but the weddings I have to edit, those are the big ones. The, I have weddings out the wazoo right now that I have to edit, so... I don't know how I'm going to get that other tractor in here, but we'll see. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. There you go. I hope I can get it. I need to think. I think I need to change the wheels on this tractor. What we can do is we can do a really quick. Eh, that's not going to work. Lose the 5,000, the big Zeron. Zerion. So the track forger in action. With the long pipe, we should be able to do this. Uh, field not owned. Oh. <laughs> he was all ready to go. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one, Jer. Th uh, this is not the class farm, though. We are not. This has nothing to do with the farm that I'm actually uh, going to be doing. But, nope. I want to own this. Buy. Yep. Yes. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> uh, this is a perfect class map because it's huge, and you guys will see. I think you're going to really enjoy what I'm doing with this with the series. It is not just um, just it's not just like a normal typical farm. I have seasons on, and I'm running a brewery. You, I, you guys are going to love it. Uh, it's like all different mods from um, the global company. No, stop it! I'm pressing the wrong button. There we go. Okay, and we're going to run this at, what, six? Nope, 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 slow down. Six. Six. There we go. There we go. That's right. Six miles per hour. I love the new update, Panda Man. Uh, I think if you bought the class stuff, you will not be, if you like class equipment, you will not be disappointed. There is a ton of it. Uh, and it's pretty good-looking stuff, so... We've got the giant jaguar here chaffing stuff up. Uh, you'll see, Panda Man. You'll see. I'm not giving any more secrets out because it's going to be the new series. I want you guys to watch it. But it will be uh, on my uh, on my channel. It, there's a, a malt shop, a brewery, and um, uh, I do use Follow Me, but I'm not doing it on this video. I'm actually following by hand. So um, You can use Follow Me to do this. They'll follow right alongside you. The problem is they run over the crop, but... But yeah, I'm using, there's a brewery mod, and there's all kinds of cool stuff that I've added in there. A sawmill that produces pallets. So you guys have seen some of the stuff before, but Global Company is finally releasing it. 
Can you drive behind and still get it in the trailer? I don't think so, Nordy. I can try. Let's see what happens. Yeah, maybe with that longer one. We're close. I can't get right behind it, but... If I had a shorter tractor, I probably could, actually, because, look, the problem is the Z-Ron's a big tractor, so if I was using a shorter tractor and a, short, a different trailer, I probably could. You're definitely getting one of these for your farm? I know. Isn't that nice? Well, it's got that huge header. It's not as big as the, the ones that for the New Holland, though. The New Holland has that yellow header, the yellow and red one. That's the largest header. I think it's 12 meters. This one's 9. So this DLC is called um, the, it's actually the Platinum Edition, or the Platinum Expansion is what they're calling it. Uh, so it's the Farming Simulator 19 Platinum Expansion. It's basically the halfway mark for this for this game. Um, every year, or every other year, they release a Platinum Expansion for their Farm Sim series, and this is the uh, Platinum Expansion for this game. Um, yeah, the New Holland's bigger, yep. Uh, but they don't... The downside is, and this is what people have been upset about, is that it did not come with a map. So I'm using... North Frisian Marsh, also known as Nord Frisish. If you look up Marsh on modhub.us, you will find it. It's version 2.5. It's the latest version, and it also it comes with a ton of uh, uh, different businesses that you can add that are interrelated. So, like a malt shop, like I said, the malt, malt factory, sawmill, and brewery are the ones that I put together. And um, yeah, the New Holland has the multi fruit header. That's correct. Yep. Yeah, it's been a year pretty much, Jerry. I think November was when it came out, so we're, we're um, 11 months here. Uh, I think they released the Platinum, though, when they've reached Platinum status, so it that could happen faster, but um, anyway, this was a, um, a big deal. I, I, I think, once again, I don't know that this is going to generate a lot of interest with American viewers. Uh, I think it's going to generate a lot of in, in, uh, interest with Europeans because... You know, even though Kloss is in America, it's not as well known as, like, Case, New Holland, uh, John Deere, um, and some of these other companies. So uh, I really like it, but that's why I'm running it on a European map, because it fits. I watch uh, Tractor Spotting, and it's a great channel. The guy's got some really well-done videos of, of different equipment in, in uh, like, working fields and stuff, and a lot of the stuff that's on those fields is Kloss. You know, you see a bunch of it, so... So, yeah, that Jaguar is a pretty cool harvester. Yes, I am going to be doing it with Seasons. You are correct. I'm going to be doing it with Seasons. So, and, and it'll be, uh, um, yeah, there you go. So, Nordy knows what I'm talking about. It's a great channel. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Flight Simulator always comes out with their Platinum Edition for 100 bucks. That's usually, yeah, you're right. It's going to be some change. Yeah, though John Deere, I wouldn't even say that, Panda Man, because John Deere is, is a worldwide company, and they're, they're heavily used in Europe, too. Pretty much everywhere you go, John, there's a heavy presence of John Deere. They're, I think, one of the most used tractor companies in the world. Um, and their percentage is high. Like, It's like John Deere and then the rest of the companies. <laughs> and uh, that's if you look at market share. Uh, John Deere always has like 20% or more of the market share. So The corn silage baler, yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? They also have, like, the hemp baler that puts it on the top. Like, it has that Z-Ron type thing that Klaus makes that puts it on top. Like, it has a big hopper on top and then dumps it into a semi-truck on the side of the field. So, so yes, Tanker, the map that I'm going to be doing with the brewery is a Seasons map. So, once again, we'll show this. These are cool, the, the, the animations. This one's not as cool as the other one folding up, but, yep, it's full. They fixed that. He stopped. He didn't keep going. Did you see that? He stopped and I stopped. So that is the, the Jaguar. Uh, pretty cool Pretty cool device. I'll put the pipe in. Here. There we go. I love that thing. Pretty sweet. You guys like that? Yep. So that's neat to run these pieces of equipment. Um, what else do we need to run? I think that's pretty much it for the things that we were going to run. Uh, so we're going to do a repeat then. Does anybody want to see anything while we're here? Because I'm gonna, I, I need to go to bed pretty soon, but I wanted to share all the stuff with you guys. We got to see the quadrant run. We got to see the bale wrapper run. Um, we got to see the harvesters in action and the tractors doing tractor stuff. Um, once again, the Z-Ron is pretty cool. It does do the cab thing. I'll show that one more time because people really like that, and I missed it on my review video or my first look. Once again, I hope that Giants make stuff. 
to go, or at least some mod maker will make things that fit on the back of this because in real life they have, you know, you can use this as a plow. A lot of guys put a plow on the front of this and then use that. But then they also, on top of it, have uh, up top, they have like a, a thing that goes on the back, kind of like the um, the Terra Fellas or the uh, Eco Terra from um, um, Homer. Uh, they have a slurry tank that goes up on top. They've got uh, like a hopper that can hold grain that goes on top. Uh, so there's all kinds of different modules that Kloss makes for the Z for the Zerion series. Uh, and that's why you flip the cab. So it goes on behind the cab there in that blank spot, and then it hangs over the engine. And, and you can, you know, they have like a like a cultivating slash slurry tank that you put on the back, and it you know runs Camelback and and works. So um, I hope they come out with stuff like that for this. At least the mod makers do, and that they can figure out how to make this support that. But once again, my fear is like JCB. You know, the JCB had the fast track with those, uh, like the mower. And, and the sprayer and all that stuff, and they never came out with those pieces for the fast track. There were mods that did it, and they were pretty cool, but um, this DLC is 20 bucks. Um, now, once again, if you came in late uh, and you haven't purchased it yet, you have till the 22nd, I believe, is when it's coming out. Uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong about that, but I believe it's the 22nd. If you order it before the 22nd, you get this Class Maxi, uh, Maxi Dominator, and you also get a pre-release edition, I guess I can go here, of the uh, the larger front loader, or the, fr the larger wheel loader, which is this guy uh, with a funky paint scheme. I guess they use this paint scheme to kind of, when they're out in the field working, they don't want people to see it, they put a white and black paint scheme on it to make it look more camouflaged, and then you can't really tell what you're looking at uh, from a distance. So, once again, you have the smaller front loader, the Torian, and then you have the, the big one, the Torian 1940, where did it go? This guy. That's the same one that had that weird horseshoe paint job. Pretty cool stuff right there. Look at that. That's just such a cool uh, front loader. I guess they're not made by Kloss. Somebody said that they sub out their front loaders. But I like this guy. Um, it's This is the smallest wheel loader I've seen, and I like it because it, it, because of that, it's small. So it's unique. Uh, we got another front loader finally uh, to go alongside the Kramer. So that's this uses the tractor implements as a front loader. Uh, and then we have our, our super long uh, telehandler with a actual tele. What's up, Whitehawk? There we go. Uh, yeah, and then there's wagons. That's right. Uh, the wagon that we were using, we also have these two wagons over here, um, the shorter one. These are chaff wagons, once again, so you're only going to be putting, like, chaff or straw or loose materials in here. You're not going to be putting grain crops in there. And a collecting wagon to match the other one. We can actually run the collecting wagon. We haven't done that yet, so... Uh, let's see. Oh, it's a worker. That's why I'm not. Yep, the Kramer's my favorite. Now I have a class to go along with it. The only downside is... Uh, the uh, That uh, class uh, front loader device, the same as the Kramer. No, uh, yes, you did, Whitehawk. <laughs> and you're in here late, man. Um... The difference is that it is a uh, articulated versus four wheel steering, and that it's going to be it's harder to use. I would prefer the four wheel steering, but that's how they designed it. So, so here's the loading wagon do doing what loading wagons do. Yeah, it's a class loading wagon. No big, no big excitement here. Um, I think if you unload it, let's see if I unload it. Yeah, the the chains in the bottom move. You should see that see that moving along. That's how it pushes it pushes stuff out using those chains. So, and then we're picking up more. Got a big lump up there that we'll pick up. Just like all the tractors, none of the gauges work except for the speedometer and the RPMs. <laughs> Maybe someday. How does this thing pick these up? Oh, look, it sucks it right up. Look at that. Whoops. We're climbing. And that's it. So anyway, I think that that is about it for this DLC, guys. Or Platinum Expansion or whatever they're calling it. Uh, once again, I feel more like it's, it would be like a, a class Mega Pack DLC versus... 
you know, a platinum expansion. I, the, to me, platinum expansion means they're expanding the game, which usually would entail adding a map. <laughs> but I do like it. I think it is worth the 20 bucks. I know Taylor disagrees with me completely. Uh, but I like the, um, I think, you know, at 50 cents a piece for the equipment, it's not that much money, honestly. You're getting a lot, a lot of stuff. There's just a ton of stuff in this pack. And it's going to make for a great series on my channel. So <laughs> that is, uh, uh, and it has some equipment to do it. And the new class colors, I think that all of it together makes fun. If you like to do like an all-branded farm, like like a new like a New Holland farm or a Case farm, that is correct, White Hawk. And that is why I think a lot of people aren't going to buy it. Um, but then again, I just want to point this out. Like I said in the, the review video, um... Uh, no, he didn't. Um, they just decided that, and here's my here's my thoughts on this, and I'm going to say this one more time. I could be totally wrong about this. This is just my opinion. I think that uh, they didn't do a map because, um, to be honest with you, so everybody hated Soznovka, and everybody complained about Estancia La Pacha. And so I think Giants looked at that and said, you know what? In fact, everybody complained about Ravenport and uh, what Felsbrunn. So... I think Giant kind of looked at that and said, uh, we're done. Like, we're just, we're not going to make any more maps. People just complain about the maps, so we might as well just stick to doing what we do best. We're going to make some great equipment and sell it that way. So, uh, right. Same, thank you, Pedro. And I, I think that I, that's my personal opinion on what went on behind the scenes. I don't, that I have no fact to back that up. I've got I've got no information that backs that up. But to me, as somebody that's making a game that people want, if all I hear is complaints about the maps, I'm just going to go, you know what, we just won't make a map. We'll just do tractors and see how it does. Um, once again, I, I think that this is just a, a huge pack. <laughs> it's the most equipment in a pack that they've ever done, and it's really literally double what they've normally done. So the downside is it is going to probably only appeal to those people that like to do the European farms and like to do class they really are class fanatics and there's a lot of them out there so i think they took a little bit of a risk but i don't think it was that big of a risk because let's be honest a vast majority of the people that play this game are european so um make a good map instead right nordy <laughs> yeah thankfully we have nord for sheesh i'm glad that this map is available and uh, works somewhat with seasons because i'll just use this as my "Quote unquote platinum expansion map." I'm very happy with this map, and and it's a it's a nice map. So, uh, good enough. We have a place to run the class tractors in Europe, and uh, kind of keep it realistic there. So, uh, anyway. Oh, there you go. So you got it with the pre-order. That's a good way to do it. So, yeah. Well, the nice thing is you'll get those two extra pieces. So, <laughs> you bought the pre-order on the first day. So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Did you know, Nordy, at the time that it didn't have a map, or did you, uh, is that a surprise for you after you bought it? You were like, wait a minute, no new map, what? <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't what happened, because that leaves a bad taste in people's mouths, but, um, oh, there you go, Jerry. I loved going to Iceland, that's my favorite place. Yeah, the back's different, you can see here, this is all different on these. Anyway, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed tonight. I'm sorry it was a shorter night, like I said, I think we've been on for an hour, though, so, um. Anyway, uh, so it, was, it wasn't announced, no map yet. Oh, Nordy, ouch. Yeah. Oh, well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the class pack and had fun, like, you know, at least hanging out and seeing some of this stuff work. Uh, I may run another stream on Sunday again, but we're going to do uh, the multiplayer farm on Sunday, so I'll see you guys then. But, uh, yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Like I said, I don't think it's getting a ton of, you know, I've got the DLC video up on YouTube, and to be honest with you, it did okay. I've got a 1,000 views on it in 12 hours, 15 hours. So it did. it's not doing great. It's not horrible, but I, it, the, it seems like the interest is about halfway there. Compared to last year, you know, there was huge interest in the, in the FS19. I think they're kind of... You know, but anyway, that's how it rolls. So m multiplayer Sunday, I'm thinking probably around 4 o'clock-ish and be done by 6. So it'll be 2 o'clock your guys' time, uh, maybe 1 o'clock your guys' time, um, just so that I can spend the evening with my kids and anyway have a good night guys and uh I, I, I it's been great having you here hopefully you enjoyed this first look and we'll see you 
uh, on Sunday for the multiplayer farm on Lone Oak. And also keep your eyes out for the new Kloss Farm. I'm going to try to release an episode tomorrow before I leave for the wedding, so hopefully we'll have that up there for you. And if not, it'll be up on Sunday. But we'll see you then, and enjoy the series, and have a great night. Bye.